Chapter 3! This is the alternate version to the Battlefield, the series. The cute girl's version. Makoto! Kamaru, is that really you? I knew it, you're... You're Makoto, right? Mr. Makoto Naegi, right? They're totally mispronouncing Naegi's first name, aren't they? Like, I feel like they are. Mister. Also, it's gonna be really weird when I call him Naegi and just call her Kamaro. <laughs> Sorry, just used to it. You're safe. I'm so relieved. I was worried the whole time. Same here. I wish I knew you were alright. I mean, I thought you had already died. Oh, Makoto, I'm so glad you're alive! I'm glad too, Komaru. I thought I'd never see you again. But I'm relieved to find out you're safe. Yeah. Hey, what about Dad and Mom? Are they with you? Huh? I see. Then you don't know either. I was hoping that you would. Then... You don't know either? But... but... It's gonna be alright. Don't worry. I'm sure they're just fine, wherever they are. But... You have no proof of that! They could be... There's no proof they're not okay either. So let's just believe in hope for now. Yeah, if you say so. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's funny. I never thought I'd hear you say something like that. Really? Well, being positive is like my only good point. It's true. But more importantly, where are you right now? What's going on over there? I I'm at a building called Toa Tower. I, I was told I could use the communication device here. Oh, wait, that reminds me. Why are you answering? Uh, what do you mean by that? I mean... I called Future Foundation. Why are you the one who responded? You... you really don't know? Don't know? A about what? I'm with Future Foundation, Branch 14. That's my division. Toko, is this true? Toko? Wait, what? Toko is there with you? I'm so surprised. <laughs> what? You got a problem with that? You disappeared! Everyone was so worried about you! <laughs> worried? Like anyone would actually care if an intern went missing. You know I would never stay behind on a mission like this. Especially with Master going. So you tagged along without orders. Well, I figured that was pretty much what happened. Wait, hold on! You two know each other? That's why Toko knew about me from the beginning? Yeah, she... didn't tell you that? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Did I not? <laughs> Must have slipped my mind. No, you very much didn't! Yeah, that sounds like Toko. Anyway, I'm glad you two are together. I I'm just with her because I have no choice. Your whiny little sister falls when she's alone. So basically, I'm just a babysitter. I guess this will prepare me for my future with Master. Hey, hey! I wasn't bawling! Don't listen to her, Makoto! So, where is Byakuya? Master is... safe. Safe, but captured by the enemy. Just as I thought. Future Foundation's intel said as much. I just didn't believe it. I mean, Byakuya? Captured? He was pr probably taken by surprise by some fiendish cowards. There's no other way. Ugh. The son of the noble Togami family brought to the position of a mere hostage. Sounds like the situation is pretty serious. So serious the world is gonna collapse. The ultimate affluent progeny is in danger. Ultimate? Oh yeah, Byakuya Toko and I were all classmates at Hope's Peak Academy. Wait, you... you didn't know that either? You know, we were classmates before, you know, just shit hit the fan, all that jazz. No, I didn't. Well, 
Well, now's the time for your brother to explain it. Oops. There's your chance. Now you can show off your utter lack of presence with your brother complex. Uh, I do not have a brother complex. I don't really know where to start. We weren't just regular classmates. We were trapped inside Hope's Peak Academy during the tragedy. So this you're like, here's what happened in Danganronpa 1. Here's your recap. We were forced to kill each other. Our classmates. Kill? A lot of our classmates ended up killing each other. Right in front of our eyes. Even after all this time. The memory. The despair. I can still feel it. It wasn't just some movie or game? It wasn't a movie. It was reality. It actually happened. And it was all broadcast live as part of the tragedy. The mastermind behind it all wanted to spread despair throughout the world. They wanted to show the whole world. The students of Hope's Peak Academy, the symbols of hope, falling to despair and death. Well? No chiming in with a remark this time? But wait, you two are still alive, so... Yeah, we were able to defeat the mastermind who planned the killing game and survive. Of course, we couldn't save everybody. And after that, we left Hope's Peak Academy and went into the outside world. But outside, it was more horrifying than we expected. It was easy to get discouraged, but by supporting each other, the friends who survived hell together. We move forward. Soon we came under future foundation protection. We chose to lend ourselves to the cause, to fight against the remnants of despair, who are still trying to spread despair to the world. Right, Toko? <laughs> <laughs> Toko, are you crying? I am remembering the suffering and heartache. I see. I didn't know about that at all. I never thought something like that was going on. But you guys are so amazing. I gave up immediately, but you guys, you guys fought. You confronted the problem. I guess that's why you've changed. No, not really. I was always being saved by everyone else. Hmm. You saying that? Your brother got so hyped up from being declared the ultimate hope. He was always dragging everyone along. So eager about everything. Hey, I wouldn't say I was hyped about it. Oh, but you don't deny the dragging everyone along part, huh? Come on, we all know Kirigiri was the one who was the mastermind behind everyone getting out of there alive. Take it easy on me. Makoto, you've definitely changed. You too, Komaru? What do you mean? I haven't changed a bit. I just put on this suit and tie. <laughs> no, really. You really change. Might be weird for your little sister to say this, but you seem more mature now. Just from this conversation, I can tell you're more reliable than you used to be. Well, I don't really think so, though. But me? I haven't changed at all. Not since my imprisonment. Listen, about that. There's something I need to apologize for. Huh? Apologize? The reason you were in prison there? It's because of us. If we weren't chosen by the Mastermind, you wouldn't have ended up like this. What do you mean? You aren't the only prisoner in Toa. With you is everyone who is relevant to our classmates. In order to make us commit murder, the mastermind abducted people relevant to us and tried to use them as a motive. We managed to stop it before it got that far, but the theme was killing among loved ones. The mastermind was going to force us to watch you kill each other. To make us really lose all hope. 
The video of you, our family, being abducted was used for motive as well. But that was just the beginning. The Mastermind was planning something far more cruel. In the end, the Mastermind was swallowed by the despair, and that motive was left unused. But even after that, I, I was still imprisoned. Probably the doings of the remnants of despair, trying to succeed the Mastermind's will. Because of them, we were totally in the dark about where the captives were being held. But a few days ago, Future Foundation received an anonymous tip. We were told captives from the killing game were being held in a certain apartment in Toa City. So that's why Biaki and the others were at my apartment. But because of those rioting little brats and their machines. The plan for saving the captives was scrapped. And even Master, the protagonist, was captured. Protagonist? What? Makoto, you've already heard the ones causing the riots here are Monokumas, right? So, did you figure out what the deal is with these Monokumas yet? No, we still haven't figured that out. Huh? Jeez, Future Foundation's useless. The Monokuma riot starting at the exact same time as the rescue operation. Strange. Like I said, it's no coincidence. It's conspiracy. Someone's setting up Future Foundation. Then that would mean the tip was a trap, using the captives as bait to lure us there. The captives aren't just bait. They're targets for the massacre game the brats are playing. Massacre game? They make hunting and killing the captives part of their little game to taunt us. Wait, does that mean the captives are the ones wearing wristbands like mine? Then Yuda and Hiroko and that man with the computer, they're... They're all captives? Yes. There are people close to us. People who were imprisoned in Toa, just like you. Kamaru, what you just said, is it true? You're involved in this massacre game too? <laughs> Not like I wanted to be. Y yeah. They put a wristband on me and now I'm being chased by these weird kids. That's... And one of the brats who started this sick game said something interesting earlier. Something about Big Sis Junko. Junko? You mean Junko and Oshima? I mean, <laughs> do you know another Junko? <laughs> Junko and Oshima? She's the mastermind behind the school. No, she's the mastermind behind the tragedy itself. And she has huge boobs. <laughs> Big boobs, too? Oh, the horror. Junko and Oshima is known as the true ultimate despair. I suppose it wouldn't be a Danganronpa game if Junko didn't happen to show up at some point. She was our former classmate. But didn't you say earlier that you already defeated the Mastermind? Yes, Junko and Oshima is dead. But it seems her memory is still alive and well. Even in death, Junko and Oshima continues to influence the remnants of despair. So that group is a certain group from DR2, right? She's become a martyr to them. Now she's even more trouble than when she was alive. It's like they worship her. Like some big-chested despair goddess or something. 